Cricket for Americans. CFA. Yeah. So we are learning about cricket. He knows more than I do. I'm kind of catching up on the bandwagon you know, just a little bit, but it grows every day with more and more experience. And we had a Patreon. Sorry, I had like a hair on my face. We had a Patreon, Krish, request this um, video about Jeff Thompson, an Australian fast bowler from the 70s that most people who have seen cricket since then say was the fastest ever. Now that's cool because we, like you said, learning about cricket, we'd like to know the history. And yes. something from the 70s, we don't get to that too much. So this will be really cool to watch. Uh, I love, personally, I love history anyways. And so history and sports mesh together is a beautiful thing. If you're new to Cricket for Americans, our whole objective is to learn about cricket. We are not the experts. We have learned some from our other channel, Born Reviews. Go ahead and check that out. The description or the, you know, information is there. Go to Born Reviews. You'll see our faces. And you can see a whole bunch of other cricket videos that we already created. This is a newly created channel with extra cricket videos like this one you're watching right now. Chris, thanks again, like Jody said, for the request. And let's get into this. Hey, tell me there. Somebody still likes in the poem's blood? Uh, um, well, no, no, it's just a silly statement you make when you're 17. You know, you get a bit older and things change, you know, sort of thing, but uh, no, no. Geez, you wound it up in that first test against them, though. Six for 40 in the first innings, and they still talk about it to this day at the Gabba, the pace. Yeah, but it was one of those things, you know, sort of... I'd, I'd made my debut with an injury and sort of thing against Pakistan. I didn't go too well, so I was on the rebound. I was ready to kill somebody, you know, and, it just, <laughs> and it just happened to be the Pommies, and, the, and uh, they've made me a, a martyr because of that reason in Australia, and you know, that sort of thing. And he was one of them. <laughs> well, just look, you know, you know, I reckon you used to ball in a wig. <laughs> You did, Greg, you did. I'm, I'm sorry to talk about this, Tommy. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> you got this full mullet, haven't you? <coughs> yeah. Huge mullet. Well, most of us have lost a bit of hair over the time. <laughs> it? But, you know, Father Time hasn't been too kind to us. But I'm, I'm surprised. Your voice is a... Uh, I thought it would be a little higher than what it was last time. <laughs> I, I lose my voice every November and I put it down to you. I think it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I mean... I tell you what, that's a cracker in the knacker if ever I saw that. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> and that's uh, video quality that's David Lloyd that's at the crease, of course. And look at the concern on Tomo, isn't he screaming up there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about Marshy? He's, he's in a big hurry to get up there. But, mate, it's a little bit like the Ashes Urn. You, you guys have seen the Ashes Urn. It's only about this big. I mean, it's... You know, it's, it's, it's <laughs> Isn't it funny, Bob, how everybody on the ground thinks it's funny except you? I went, down, I went down in instalments there, you could tell. <laughs> we didn't have super slow-mo in them days, but that's how I went down. I mean, can I, can I just yeah, no. let, me, let me go through it yeah. from start to finish. And that blood on the pitch, we were watching TV and they've all their own little programmes. Tomo comes on and he looks straight into camera, he said, and I, I like to see blood on the pitch. And we're in a team meeting, and it, it went very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and I sort of inched forward, I said, I think he's talking about mine here, and not him. <laughs> but it, it's a technical thing. Let me stand up. You don't mind if I stand up. <laughs> it, it's a sideways game. Cricket is always sideways. God bless him. Fred Truman has passed away, but he always used to say, it's a sideways game. You've got to be sideways on. You can stand like that sideways when you're batting, and you bowl like that sideways, and you don't come into any sort of problem. <laughs> <laughs> I remember him coming in his sideways position. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of stood like that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a split second, 95 miles an hour, that's all you've got. And it flashed through your mind. I'm in the wrong place here. <laughs> 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 Coaches are always optimistic. So I went into coach mode. It might hit the bat. 
It's Mr. Bat, the Daily Telegraph, back in the UK, lovely broadsheet, posh paper, said, and Lloyd was struck a blow in the groin. <laughs> Missed me groin by about that much. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be some in the room of my age, he certainly is, Bill certainly is. <laughs> what was I wearing for protection? A pink lightsome. Which is a little piece of plastic. <laughs> and we didn't have any jock straps. I've got it down my swimming trunks. <laughs> And it's got little holes in, it's got little breathe holes in. They were socially unacceptable, these things. When they'd been in your kit bag for a month, they stunk, they were horrible. <laughs> I know there's a lot in here from the UK. There's a great shop in, in the UK called Herod's. And they use these pink lightsomes now as soap holders. <laughs> <laughs> Shove your soles are bigger than that, pal. I've got this on, totally inadequate for the job at hand. <laughs> cricketers in the nook, technically, technically, cricketers, if you itch on your body, you get a, a fine leg, leg bite. Go down to third man, you get a leg bite. We didn't get a leg bite that day. <laughs> 95 miles an hour here, bounce once, he's got hold of it again. I just, I'm in serious trouble. <laughs> Nobody bothered, as you could see. Nobody concerned. <laughs> I'm to, trying to make light of the situation and they've got me to the feet and I said, can you take the pain away and leave the swelling? I thought it hit him on the face. I didn't know it hit him on the face. You didn't Everything that should no, have been inside like this pink lightsome had found its way through the breathing. <laughs> Plastic, the plastic had split and then snapped shut. Oh. <laughs> it was made of metal. It's going like a Belisha beacon. You can't make this stuff They're up. They're coming off the ground and there's always that suitable 10 minute interlude before a voice on the tannoy at any sporting event would say very gravely, is there a doctor on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> That particular day at Perth, the Tannoy announcement was, is there a welder on the ground? <laughs> Put it down to him. Oh, we got to see it again. Oh. I dare say he's told that story. Oh, yeah. That, that's, his, that's his go-to. Uh-huh. we've what? got to see that again. I mean, this... To, to, Do we to, really to. have to? <laughs> oh, that's quite ironic. That's the only soap... That's the only soap holder that's been used in England as well. <laughs> His teammate's not yeah. doing nothing. Quick single at this end. Look, he wants a quick there. single. The <laughs> defender that's coming up. Yeah, you're know. right. You're right. Oh, it's on off. You stop down there. I'm not coming down there. I thought, did I ever hear you say fancy a pom owning a pair of swimming trunks? Yeah, well, that's exactly right. He said he didn't have a jock, so he had a pair of swing, swimming trunks. What a liar that is. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it, it's... So the, the quality was not the best. We apologize for that. But it, it's definitely a funny story, a story that yes. I did not know anything about. I thought we were going to see um, some action in that video. But it was still nice to get a little bit of history, a little bit of Australian, UK history about that situation. Um, and if that guy was the fastest bowler, then that just adds a little more insult to injury there. Yes, yes, definitely. What did you think of that uh, David Lloyd versus Jeff Thompson story from the Ashes? Well, I'm going to assume David Lloyd is the one who was talking with his whole story. Yeah. Yeah. So, first of all, he does a great impression. I loved his different, yeah. like, We don't know who he was impersonating, no. but he was doing a great job. His coach, whoever his coach was, done sideways. <laughs> Cricket is a sideways sport. <laughs> but um, he's a fabulous <laughs> storyteller with this sto story there. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping a large part of that story was exaggerated. <laughs> Yes, um, <laughs> yes, I would imagine. <laughs> Is there a welder in the house? Yes. But, the um, but it, it was quite <laughs> comical, quite comical. Yeah, no, that, that was awesome. And it's, you know, I'm, my brain's a little slow sometimes. And I'm thinking, like, why does he keep talking about sideways? Because I kept thinking it was his face. Oh. And I'm like, if you're sideways or not, your face is still looking forward. But, yes, yeah, stay sideways, my friend. <laughs> you can prevent that kind of stuff unless you have some unfortunate ricochet from the ground into a different position. But holy oh. cow. But, obviously, 
he's I mean he's gone down in history now. For yes. That that experience. It said that he played nine test matches in a two year period. Unfortunately for him, one of those test matches was uh, that Ashes there, that game, those uh, rounded games, that series. And uh, that, that was funny. Yep. Thanks so much, Chris, for giving us that recommendation and for being a patron. Like Jody said, if you want to be a patron as well, go ahead and check out our page. Now, of course, I understand nowadays, um, but if you want to, it's there. And we appreciate all the support of all of our patrons and our viewers. As always, if you have requests for our... Uh, I shouldn't say, as always, since this is a new channel, if you have a request for a CFA to do, then go ahead and get it through our comment section. And if you want to be a patron, then just look at the description down below. I should have it there. As I said in a previous video, patrons of one channel is a patron of both channels. So you don't have to be a double patron. So with all that being said, <laughs> until next time. Goodbye.